Hey, so in my Gauguin acoustic guitar demo where I went over five of my acoustic Gauguin instruments, I promised I would do one about my one electric Gauguin, which is this beauty here. It's a Gauguin PC. I'm playing through the uh, Positive Grid Spark Amp, which I got about three weeks ago. So this guitar was purchased uh, at Kennelly Keys in the Seattle area in 1993. Uh, amazingly, I think it was on the wall for like 800 something. Um, I got it there year end half price, uh, highly discounted sale for about $330. Um, I've been playing it for almost, wow, like 30 years almost now, and man, well spent $330. But a lot of things changed. It was, uh, it was a Gauguin TC, like their um, 90s Telecaster model, but I have done many things to it. For one thing, it used to be black, and now, thanks to Roxy Guitars and the um, greater Seattle area, I guess they're down south here some ways. Um, amazing paint job, um, sparkle red finish, like three or four layers. And I've also replaced uh, the frets twice, the second time with stainless steel frets at Mike Lull's Guitar Works in Bellevue. Um, and I think they're still the original tuning pegs. I've actually kind of forgotten. Um, but the bridge is the same as the original, and then the electronics are completely redone uh, using Tom Anderson pickups. And I'm gonna, when I zoom in a little bit closer, I'll go over the very unique array of pickups that I've got in this guitar. But the reason why I put those pickups in, I actually like the uh, ones that Gauguin shipped with it. They were pretty cool. Definitely cooler than like a typical Telecaster. I uh, had a three-way switch with a push-pull. They were like stacked single coils. Um, but I have a Tom Anderson guitar and I love the sound of so much that I didn't want to have to set up my amp and pedal board for two radically different guitars. This was my favorite backup guitar to play at that time. So I put the Tom Anderson pickups in here to try to make it sound more like the other one, and it, it, it largely succeeded. I mean, there's still some differences. This is a very light guitar, so it's not built of the same type of woods as the Tom Anderson, but um, the sound is pretty comparable, especially on uh, hard rock type sounds. Uh, but over the years, I think the reason why I kept playing this guitar, it kind of had a history with me, um, get me through my first decade of, of teaching in the 90s during the grunge era here in Seattle. And I also just really love the fretboard, so even though I've changed all the electronics, I just really like how this guitar plays. Right now I have on here DR uh, Neon Strings, 10 Crew 46. Um, why do I play DR Neon Strings? Because they're fun. They probably don't last quite as long as Elixirs, um, but they sound really great when they're new. And I just love being able to pick the color of strings I have on my guitar. So um, next part of the video we'll get into the different um, sounds uh, we call these pickup combinations, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer, and then I might also show off the sample a little bit. It's not really meant to be a Spark amp review, but it's a cool amp, so I might show it off a little bit also. So right now I'm playing through the, uh, pretty close to the native clean sound that the Spark amp shipped with. This guitar has a five-way switch, it has a uh, humbucker here, a stack single coil here, humbucker there, all made by Tom Anderson pickups. So this switch right here actually switches all of the pickups to a parallel rather than series routing, which kind of emulates a split coil sound without as much noise. But I'm going to leave that down right now for like the, the regular mode. And then this is a really special switch, this push pull, that adds a pickup to the configuration you're in. But let's start with the five way. So this is the bridge pickup, humbucker. <laughs> This one, I believe, combines, I kind of forget what some of these switches do, there's so many of them, but the second position, I believe, is the humbucker and then the stack single coil, which I believe is always in parallel mode, that's how uh, Mike wired it. So it's like, a, kind of like a, a parallel stack single coil here, well it is that, and then a humbucker here. <laughs> But right away, it gives you that kind of one of those things I like to get out, out of Tom Anderson pickups is that kind of glassy sound. Real interesting tone. The third position is just this parallel rounded uh, stack single coil in the middle. Probably the thing of sound. So if I want to do kind of a thinner country sound, I'd use that one. Mm -hmm. 
This is the same as the second position, except where we're using this humbucker. A little bit rounder, a little bit less glassy. This guitar has so many different options, though, that don't resemble options you get with most guitars that you have to kind of get used to each uh, second and how to use it. This is the neck position humbucker kind of the jazzy sound. For a lightweight uh, solid body, that's not bad if I roll the tongue up down a little bit. Coming out back up, and now um, I can start playing around with this switch. So when I kick that switch up, I get uh, I think four out of the five positions of the five way are now different. So this is um, single coil, or rather parallel, routing at the bridge. <laughs> huge difference to how that humbucker sounds. This would now be parallel parallel. Kind of kind of spunky in your face there. Um this would be whoops did I miss one there? I think I missed one. Yeah this is the second position. I think I was just playing the middle. Here's the middle again. Up to parallel, parallel. And then parallel here. And Greg, I'm only showing you these in the um, clean setting, so there's a whole lot more options when you start changing the amp around. Uh, and then the really weird switch is this adds a pickup. So right now, if I put this back a humbucker, I, I'm adding this humbucker, so now I have both of these, like a Les Paul middle. If I go down to this position, um, this is this is the weird one. Um, it is both of these because I've added this. So it's both of these plus this one is being added by being in the fourth position here. So it is, it's confusing. It's series, parallel series. This is one of my favorite sounds of Tom Anderson pickups. It's like a glassy funk sound. To me, it's like, I don't know if I get that exact sound out of any other guitar or any other set of pickups rather than Tom Anderson pickups. It's like one of my favorite things. Also works nice with chorus. Which I might show you a second. I'm going to start screwing around with the amp more in a sec here. What's weird is this position does the same thing now that I have this added. If I'm selecting these two, popping this adds that one, so it's really the same as the fourth position in the five way. The second position with this up does the same thing. It's that glassy sound again. I think the middle it might be the same thing. That's one of the deals where I don't even know what I'm getting. But if I want to use like all three wired parallel, you flick this switch up again from series to parallel. You pull this up to add an extra pickup. And if you're in like position two or four, you've now got all three pickups running at the same time with a parallel wiring. <laughs> Of different pickup combinations I actually haven't counted recently. I think it's under 20, but over 15. Some of them sound really similar, but there's definitely a huge variety of everything from the, the jazz humbucker 
to the middle position parallel to that super glassy sound to a powerhouse bridge sound so it's a pretty amazingly versatile guitar i could get like my strat single coil position too So I may not use all like 15 or 18 sounds, but I'm definitely going to use like more than I would with a typical five-way um, switch guitar, whether it's an Ibanez or a Strat or whatever. So let's play around with the amp a little bit more. So I've got my Spark amp here, and as you probably have heard, this largely you get into editing this amp uh, hardcore on a Bluetooth app, so I'm pulling it up on the phone here. First thing I did, um, I actually like the, the basic sounds that shift with, kind of amazing, because a lot of times I don't, but definitely needed a higher level of noise gate um, that it came with, because a lot of stuff was kind of noisy when you weren't playing. So with the noise gate up, it works a lot better. Um, this is my basic distortion sound, like you saw at the end of the video. So that's a uh, Maze of Boogie simulator. <laughs> Right now I'm on that um, Strat second position. As you can tell, the, um, the parallel routing is quieter than, than single coil pickups typically are. So that's largely, aside from the noise gate, um, the untweaked uh, distortion sound that this amp came with. If I go back to the humbucker bridge, sounding chords. So that's a pretty awesome sound. Um, if I want to change the amp on here, yeah, let's see if I can actually do this. Oh, well, actually, let's play around with some of it. So, like, here's a phaser that you can pick with the app. I just turned it on, that's what I got. Sounds pretty cool. If I turn that off, um, let's go check out the neck position for, like, kind of a... But here's the noise gate being turned off just to give you a standard comparison. A lot of hum, right? So turn the noise gate back on and dead silent amps. Right now the tube driver thing is off. I wonder what would happen if I turn that on with the maze of boogie. better than I thought, but the overdrive is set really low right now. I just turned it off again. Okay, so now we can check out some different amps. So like this one is probably, it's called a 5153, so haha, it's like Van Halen. This one's supposed to be like an orange. Go turn the delay down. Sounds pretty good too. Marshall. All of these are just like dream tones coming from a very small practice amp. Um, using just models, pretty awesome. Wish I had this in the 80s. So let's check out some cleaner tones. So we're gonna go back to the uh, clean one. Let's kill the delay for a second. Let's try um, 
some of those glassy sounds on the pickups. <laughs> textural tones like that out of the guitar it also sounds great on like Guns N' Roses that has this kind of glassy transparency for clean sounds that you really can't get out of say a Les Paul um, it's one of the reasons why I always like what I call hybrid guitars guitars that have really complex pickup arrangements so that you can get some similar single coil kind of sounds and some humbucker type of sounds and you're not just limited to the one or the other Growing up, I'd always played in the late 80s a um, Washburn guitar with two humbuckers, and then I remember buying a Strat because I was like, I really need to get these more kind of poppy guitar tones that I hear studio guys like Dan Huff using, and then I was really disappointed because then when I tried to play my Strat, I couldn't switch back to anything that sounded really heavy, so I ended up customizing the Washburn I had with a single coil in the middle, but now all these guitars that I play for electric work typically have multiple options of pickup arrangements for that reason. Well, there's a little bit too much on the uh, chorus line of things. Let's kick that down a little bit, it's too fast. Yeah, so like, uh, sounds like doing the same thing with a humbucker. It's not bad, but it just kind of gets in the way of the effect. I like this so much better. For most purposes. Let's go and try like kind of a big rate. Like this is the uh, second channel on the amp, which has more of a a crunch and less of a full shred distortion. If you add the drive pedal to that, let's see. Kind of a little dark sound there. So right now I think I'm going to put it on the uh, fifth position neck pickup parallel. Guitars like this that already have a high variety of pickup choices work really great with amps like this that have a lot of different choices of amp models and different effects. It's pretty amazing this is all pretty much being controlled by the phone. I'm only using the amp to just adjust the amount of like modulation or the amount of delay but all of the finer parameters come off of the app. Um, let's try some of the different amps in this kind of more mid-range crunchy area. So this one's called a Black Duo. I actually like that a lot. It's kind of quiet, but it sounds really awesome. I'm really impressed by that sound. Actually, I haven't tried it yet. Um, that's one of my things that I struggle more with with modeling amps. Usually full shred, they sound pretty good, but like getting a bluesy tone that has the right EQ can be hard, and I think this is really awesome. Not too bright. kind of modeling amp is actually the Blackstar ID Core, but the programmability of this one is really nice. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing if uh, Positive Groove 
Greg does like a bigger one because this isn't really big enough for a band um, with more volume or if you're going to stay in the practice amp kind of range. Um, my biggest complaint about the Black Star I have here is not a great foot pedal for selecting things. So in our rock band program, we are still using Line 6 Spider for everything because the, uh, the, the short board is such a great switching system for people to navigate with their feet and it's integrated into the amp. So if a uh, positive grid or Black Star would come up with something like that that would attach to their amps for live use, that would be super great. Maybe they won't listen to me, but... Um, <laughs> I think I'm kind of showing off how versatile this guitar is. While also kind of giving you a taste of a cool new amplifier, so I hope you enjoyed the uh, Gogan PC demo. Thanks.